So you're looking for a job in public health or global health, I'm here to help. Stick around, I'm gonna talk you through what to do. This video is gonna be about the World Health Organization, but I'm gonna make lots of other videos about other organizations, so stick around, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in working in the public health or global health space. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a cheat sheet that I've created that just has information about organizations, mostly in the global health space, and I'm gonna make another one of these quite soon about organizations in more in the public health space, but of course, global health and public health are pretty much two sides of the same coin. This is about global health organizations that you might be interested in. I'm not gonna go through each of these right now. As I said, I'm gonna be talking mostly about the World Health Organization, but I just wanted to show you how it is that you get to this cheat sheet. It's free. If you go to Learn More 365, this is my webpage, you go to free resources, Sources over there you click on that you scroll down and if you just filter things there's a nice little filter function there you can filter by public health global health cheat sheets hit download and boom shakalaka there's the cheat sheet now on the cheat sheet for each organization there will also be a link that you can click on and that link will take you to the website of that particular organization where it is that you can apply for a job now the WHO website is quite nice because if you see on the left hand side it's got lovely filters that you can filter by and you can say I'm looking for consulting work for example and it'll give you just jobs that are for consultants for example or you might say I want to work as in a particular country and you can filter by location. I worked at the WHO for about two years. I absolutely loved it. It's an exciting place to work. The people are amazing. The work is fantastic. So I'm not gonna try and sell you the idea of working there. I'm assuming that you're interested, so let's move on. What I wanna to talk to you about this morning is who it is that the World Health Organization is looking for in terms of good candidates. Then you can make a decision whether or not you think you fit the bill. And if so, you can apply for a job there. So I want you to think about two different ways in which you could add value or you might be a good candidate to work at the WHO. The one is that you might be a subject matter expert. So there are areas of work that the WHO work within and you may have a particular background in one of these areas of work. So it could be HIV, TB, malaria, it could be a non-communicable disease, it could be climate change and health, et cetera, et cetera. So you may have subject matter expertise super duper. The other is that you've got technical expertise in a, in, a, in a discipline that cuts across different subject matters. So things like health economics, uh, things like uh, it might even be logistics, it could be epidemiology, et cetera, et cetera. So we, let's look at these two lists and look for yourself in these lists. Okay, let's get into it. Areas that the WHO work in, communicable disease, non-communicable disease, health emergencies, universal health coverage, health promotion, health system strengthening, research and innovation, partnership and collaboration, maternal, newborn, child and adolescent health, nutrition, environment and health, or One Health, pandemic preparedness, health equity and human rights, social determinants of health, antimicrobial resistance, international health regulations, and health policy. Technical expertise that you might bring, and this is the kinds of jobs that you can apply for. You could apply as an epidemiologist, a health economist, a public health specialist, a medical officer, a research scientist, a project manager, a data analyst or statistician, communication officer, health policy advisor, a lab technician, health system specialist, program coordinator, nutritionist, environment and health specialist, emergency preparedness officer, surveillance officer, supply chain specialist. Now, of course, note those aren't comprehensive lists. There's more to it, and you can go onto the WHO website, take a look around, you'll find much more. But that's a starting point. I hope this was useful. If you want free access to that PDF, that uh, cheat sheet that I showed you earlier on, click on the card that's on the screen right now. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. Have a great day. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Don't ever change. Speak to you soon. Take care.